User disconnected from the Good channel. afternoon, everyone. This is Staff Sergeant Anwar from Task Force 121. Today, I'm going to be showing you the basics of disassembling, launching, and, or assembling, launching, and using the Raven drone for reconnaissance purposes. What you're going to want to do is you're going to start off with your Raven bag from your inventory, and you're going to want to drop it on the ground. From this point, stand in front of it, go to a crouch for tactical purposes so you're not standing out in the middle of nowhere. You're going to scroll down with the scroll wheel and assemble the RQ-11 Bravo Raven. From this point, you should see the Raven in front of you. You're going to want to use the scroll wheel to check the display code to make sure that you know what you're doing with this thing by using the scroll wheel. Sometimes it's a little finicky with Arma, and you got to do what you got to do. This display code for this Raven is 743. At this point, I'm going to pick up the Raven with the scroll wheel. I'm going to snip face a direction where I'm not going to crash it. And I'm going to scroll wheel and I'm going to launch the Raven like so. From this point forward, you now have a Raven in the air for reconnaissance purposes. Sergeant Bowman here is going to demonstrate how to do this on your end so you know exactly what I'm doing. Whenever you're ready, Sergeant Bowman. Yes, sir. All right, so I am going to press I to show you that I have the book back. This is the Eagle A3 uh, OCP Raven. I'm going to right-click it to drop it on the ground. The book bag is now on the ground in front of me. Um, I crouch down, put my mouse over it. There's the Assemble RQ-11B Raven. I'm going to click that to assemble it. Now, put the scroll wheel over this and pick up Raven. Look the direction I want to throw it. Launch RQ-11 Raven. And it's off. Now here's the device that we can use to interact with it. So I'm going to... This is the finicky part. Okay, so I can go to camera feed. Stay quiet, Colton. And I can immediately see everything that's going on around me. Uh, I have keys like uh, W. This increases the altitude. So I'm going to increase the altitude to up to, I think, 200. It goes up to 300 meters max. And this gives me uh, wider vision of the area. I can also hit uh, D and A to decrease or increase the target radius, and that goes up to 250 meters. So this thing can give you a very wide perspective of what's around you for reconnaissance. Okay, so now I'm going to bring it back in, S to go down to decrease the, the altitude, so I'm going to get it down to 30 meters. This will pivot initially around the GCS device. Uh, I'm going to press G to get out of the screen. And now I'm going to use the scroll wheel and I'm going to say new target. Okay, so we are over here on the left and I'm going to set this to right here. New target grid 018050. And so the drone is going to fly to that location. Now using the mouse, I can scroll over this and do camera feed. And you can see it flying in that direction. We'll watch it now. You can also press things like in to change the change the night vision or thermal. You can see all the little animals in the woods. Okay, so you can see that it's going towards that target to do reconnaissance. Once it gets there, it'll fly in circles uh, until you tell it to come back to the GCS device. Now, this thing is battery operated, and it will run out of battery. So what you may have to do is you may have to return it to the GCS device and then let it sit. As it sits, it recharges, so you could disassemble it, put it in your book bag, and let it sit for a while, and it will recharge. 
So um, you can see it's going to the city to do reconnaissance, and it's almost there. And again, once you get here, you can press keys like, you know, W to increase the, increase the altitude. And so it's basically going to do drone reconnaissance on this area so you can get a good intel of where the guys are. Now, again, I'm going to press G to get out of this. And I'm going to use a scroll wheel, and I'm going to say auto land. And so it's going to come back to this location. So want to step back because it can land on me. So let's give it a minute. So right. And myself stepped away from the module that is on the ground, the GCS module. This is just to ensure that we do not take any possible damage from the Raven as it's coming in for its automatic landing. At this point, it's a waiting game. You'll have your forces pulling security here to make sure that no one's in danger while we're waiting for the landing. Upon landing, we're going to disassemble the RQ-11 Bravo Raven and return to base. Okay, so we're going to watch it come in, and as soon as it gets close, I'm going to move out of the way. Okay, so there's the river on the right, so we must be getting really close. Okay, so there we are. Uh, so now I am going to get back, because it is coming in for a landing. Boom, right there. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to check the battery. Scroll down to battery level. And you see right there it's 91.5%. So again, you will, uh, you know, say we pick it up, move it over here. Where did my little device go? Oh, there it is. Okay, so let's just drop it right here. And then we can disassemble it. And it is now gone and on my back, in the book bag. Uh, so that's how you use it. Excellently done, Sergeant Bowman.